Hey guys, in today's tutorial we are creating this cool double curve text effect you see right here inside Affinity Designer version 2 and we are starting with a new clean document. First of all we need some background so we can see our um, text effect better while creating. So we will make this background white and lock it so it um, doesn't interrupt our designing process and of course we need to start with um, the artistic text tool we find right here. Um, simply click in our designing space and type in the text we want to transform. In this case, we are using the text designer, making it bigger and choosing a cool font. I've chosen Morsera and black for this one, but you can choose any font you want, of course, using the move tool and activated snapping to align our text in the middle of our design space of our document and what we now need is um, two shapes to guide us with our text effect so we are using the ellipse tool right here and creating two ellipse shapes so one first of course something like this changing the color to red so it is better visible for us and aligning making it a little bit um, bigger like this and I think this looks good maybe a bit more ellipse effect and then duplicating by using command and J or control and J when you're Windows user and moving to the bottom of our text text to create this double curved text effect so the next step is in preparation to use the warp for every single letter. So we need to use warp for every single letter. So first of all, we need to go right here and to click convert to curves. So now we have a group made out of our letters as curves. We can now ungroup by going right click and then ungroup. And now we see we have one curve for every letter in our um, text we want to transform. Then we need to start, maybe we can zoom in a little bit so it's um, easier to work with. We can start with our first letter. Also one once click on every shape so, uh, um, so we have some snapping activated and make sure to have um, the snapping settings to snap to objects. And next we need to start with our first letter, clicking right here in our layers tab on warp which is new in Affinity Designer version 2. You won't find this in Affinity Designer version 1. We then need to click on perspective and we now have four um, points to use to change the perspective of our letter. We are starting with the left top corner, holding down shift. So we are moving in a straight line till we snap to our shape, also with this one. And now click and hold to move like this. To fit maybe a bit to the left so we have this um, as a straight line maybe like this and also with the bottom um, ones like this and sometimes you need to click on those um, little points and adjust with the um, nodes like this like you also have with the node tool and like this and I think this looks pretty good it's just like this maybe a bit right here and if you're satisfied with how one letter looks we can go to the next letter so in this case um, right here clicking perspective again and doing the same for this letter we have to do this for all of the letters of our text and depending on how um, good you want the effect to look like, you have to be more precise or not. So adjusting right here and right here, looking good. Also make sure that your letters are um, not warped in one direction, so to the right or to the left, or only a little bit, so it is looking um, like they are straight. And we're using the next letter with perspective and warping again to the top to the top and adjusting so you see the ones in the middle are the easiest to adjust 
something like this and right here and right here. So this one should be easy. Simply going perspective to the top, holding down shift to the top, a simple curve right here like this and right here to the bottom with shift and here to the bottom with shift and like this and our next letter so we are nearly halfway done now you can zoom in if it's too hard to see or zoom out and just like this also for the bottom ones and again a little curve right here and our next letter with perspective to the top to the top and a little curve and again for the bottom parts to the bottom to the bottom and adjusting the notes for this one right here like this and then we can hold and move and find a curve and keep our letter straight and two more to go using perspective again hold shift and move to the top and again right here and you will see that those changes are not permanent so in that state of your um, warp letter you can still change your changes so by simply clicking right here on your um, letter for example clicking on this little symbol you can change again or for example right here you can change again i will make this back short so in this step this is not permanent but it will be soon so make sure you're satisfied with with how it looks so right here and one more letter to go going with perspective and to the top right here holding down shift to moving straight which is very important and our curve like this and to the bottom right here if it's not snapping select the shape again then bottom and right here bottom and adjusting those two notes something like this and if we are satisfied we can zoom out we can look if it's um, good enough i think it's um, good to proceed so next steps are deleting those two um, shapes selecting you can select both by holding down command in the layers tab and then click delete and the next step is so as already said you can now change the letters still change the letters the warp effect by clicking on this little icon right here but for the next steps to create those outlines um, we need to combine them and that way we need to convert them to curves first we can do this by going with the move tool selecting all of them and then clicking convert to curves but by converting to curves, we make them curves and therefore we can't change the warp effect anymore. So we need to do this also in order to be able to add a shadow effect or something like this. Otherwise we will only see the effects applied to the uh, original letters and not the new um, warp effect. So we need to click convert to curves right here. We have now a group made out of our letters um, warped as curves we can now select all of them again click right click ungroup all and then simply use the boolean operations right here to add them to one curve with our text next step is duplicating this curve by command and j again and then going to the tools right here and we're using the contour tool making sure that our contour type is um, for this case metro joints that's just how i think it looks the best but you can of course choose any type you want and also setting up the metro so we have um, all the corners exactly so if you set this down so here we will see we won't have our um, edges so we make this to four so as high as needed if you're satisfied like this looks good i think we can click 
bake appearance and we can adjust a little bit so we want to delete those inner parts and now next step is duplicating again this curve selecting with our move tool in the layer step clicking command and j again and then going with the contour tool again and again creating a new outline should be nearly the same um, size as compared this one to this one and again going with this contour type maybe a little bit smaller like this looks good and if we are satisfied as well we can click bake appearance again and then we need to arrange them this one to the bottom this one to the middle and changing the colors so for this one I've chosen this color. I will show it real quick as hex code. So we can now click to apply, double click to see the hex code if you want to use the same color, the exact same color. And again, for this one, we have not a complete black, something softer. So we're using this one, which is this hex code. And also for the um, inner part, we have something not complete white. So we're using this color and double click to see your hex code it's this one and that way we have um, the form the shape of our double curved text effect we can now group everything by selecting all of the um, three curves and then going um, right click and group so we have them in one group and now if we want to to make it pop out of the background and look a little bit cooler we can use quick fx right here Go with outer shadow maybe choose the same color we did it we have chosen for this one so it fits better and a, a setting up opacity to for example 60 angle is okay radius for example 30 and also right here maybe 30 and that way we have um, added a cool um, outer shadow effect that makes our text pop out of the background and we are finished with the double curved text effect and today's video if you enjoyed watching don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully see you in the next video and bye